Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how to get your Pinterest profile um, and how people can easily find you on your blog. So what I like to do is I like to create widgets um, and that's just a fancy term for basically getting your profile, whether that be on the sidebar of your blog or it could be in the header or footer of your blog. Um, but today we're just going to be going over how to get your Pinterest widget and your information for people to follow you on the sidebar of your blog. So I kind of want to start off by showing you what I have on my blog. Um, so as you can see, Uniquely Women, this is kind of where people, this is my, the landing page, the home page. Um, and so if you scroll down, this is the sidebar over here. If you scroll down, um, I have what's called, I have it titled Pinspiration, and then I have my most recent pins, um, the, the name of my Pinterest profile, and then I have even a little section so someone can just go on and click this follow on Pinterest, and it will follow, or that person can follow me. So how I do this, which is super simple, and I want to show you guys, is you will do this widget is available um, through Pinterest. So I have everything set up through Pinterest. So um, you, so we'll go over to Pinterest here. This is my profile. You can either have a business profile or um, you don't have to. Um, you can do this trick either way. Um, and so what you'll need to do once you get Pinterest all set up is you'll go to your main profile page. There's these three dots right above your profile name and you'll just click on that. And if you go into this drop down, you'll find that it says make a widget. So you will click on that. Okay, so it'll give, it'll bring you over to this widget builder. And there's different things you can do. You can do, um, you can just have a save button. You can have a follow button. You can just do like one pin. Um, you could do a board. Um, or you can do like your profile. Um, so how I have mine set up is I have the profile option, um, but it's super easy to incorporate any of these into your blog. So we'll just go over how to create the profile. So what you'll do is it should populate your Pinterest URL. If not, you can type in, you know, HTTPS, www.pinterest.com slash your profile name. Um, and then I'll bring it up. I have it set to square. You can do a bunch of different things. You can have like a header, sidebar, square. The sidebar, I don't really like for the sidebar purpose just because it makes it super skinny and it doesn't um, go with my theme. So you kind of want to play around with the dimensions. But what I've done is I've done the square or you can even create your own. So for instance, for this scenario, I'm going to just do the square um, and it'll actually populate it and it'll create a preview here for you. Um, and so then it'll, it'll populate the width and the height. And then all you'll need to do is take this text that they have here and then just copy that. And then we'll go back to your blog, your WordPress blog. We'll go back into the back end, go under your name and then dashboard. And then you'll want to go down to appearance here in the sidebar. So appearance, and then you'll go down to widgets. And I already have this set up, so it'll already be shown, but I just want to kind of show you how to do this quick. So I have it under here um, as Pinspiration. You can see the text. So if you don't have like a text um, sidebar widget already set up, you can go down. And for most themes, they'll have like a text um, little box that you can just drag right up here. And you'll drag it up and put it wherever you want it. Um, but we won't just since I have it already in here. So you'll see if you scroll down, um, I titled it Pinspiration. So you can title it whenever you want. You can title it Follow Me on Pinterest or Follow Along, whatever. And then in here, you can see like this data is what I just copied and pasted over. And then um, I actually, so you can play around with the dimensions. I will tell you what works for me. 
but the dimensions weren't working exactly as what they had for the square for the square sizing. Um, so I changed it around a bit and I kind of want to show you what I changed it to. So in here, I will keep the 80. So it says data pin scale width 80, which is what they gave you, as you can see here. Let's see. It says 80 right here. So we'll keep that. And then they gave you um, the board width. Let's get that. Okay, board width of 400 and then the height of 240. So I changed that. Um, so I kept the 400 for, let's see, what are they at? For the height. So I changed it, um, to where the height was 400 and then the width was 325. And that works perfectly for my theme. So I would just play around, play around with the width and the height a little bit. Um, and then what you'll need to do after that is this text underneath that says, don't forget to include this. You'll need to, um, copy this, select copy, go back over here and then um, copy that right in here as well. So right underneath, so it'll be this text right here. Um, and then all you need to do is click save. And then that is everything that you need to do to get this Pinterest widget showing up on the sidebar of your WordPress blog. So if you guys have any questions, comments, um, would like some help with anything in regards to getting, um, your Pinterest widget set up. Let me know. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So that is it. That is how. Well, and then I'll show you. So um, once you save this, um, give it a few minutes, and then it will show up in your sidebar just like this. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.